So our next structure is appreciative interviews. And on the top, you can see our invitation for the structure, which says share a moment or experience. You tried out something virtually and created a learning for yourself. And the structure is structured in three steps. So first we, we will have you meet another person in a pair where you first interview the other person for five minutes and try to listen really deeply and try in your head to observe uh, what made the success possible and also listen so that you can retell in the next step uh, to the, another pair what the other person has told you in the story. So listen carefully. In the second step, um, the pair will meet another pair in a breakout room and everybody will retell the story of their partner from the previous step and the listeners make notes on the context um, the conditions and also the success factors for these learnings in the virtual space and then we will all meet back here in the main session and we will collect the conditions and factors that made these successes possible and um, maybe we can also share some uh, failures um, from the story that we should avoid. Is there anyone who would like to share here out loud um, a success pattern that you have noticed in your group for how to make virtual connection successful or how to engage people virtually? Yeah, I'm picking up. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things in chat. So um, maybe just throwing in and you want to expand on I'm reading solid preparation. It needs much more time to prepare. Then uh, also um, you need a clear script and um, uh, um, you need a visual, uh, a visual like a storyboard or instructions also nail the details so don't be flimsy over <laughs> over some of the steps then body and mind together this yeah we're never there only with a mind but also with a body structure and planning are really useful and they give you flexibility scripts instructions timing oh i like the do not host on your own but in a team it's so obvious um i would even forgot to put it down but yeah Totally. Yeah. I think if I, if I could add to what Anya said just around co-hosting with someone, it's not just to have someone to do the tech while the other person leads, it's actually for both people to be able to lead. So if one's engaging, somebody else is noticing what's happening in the group, uh, maybe noticing what's happening in the chat, picking up, stepping in and letting the other person step out. So there's a real kind of dozy do kind of back and forth, the real dance with co-leading that's so much more powerful participants. So yeah, big plus point to that, Anya. Can I add to that? Um, what I noticed in, in sessions that I co-hosted or hosted together with other people, you feel much more safe and much more peace of mind because you know there's a backup because all kinds of things can go wrong despite or thanks to your great preparation. That's part of life, fortunately, that things go differently. Uh, but it feels very safe that you know, oh, there's a co-host who can, you know, catch me if, if things just fall apart or <laughs> if I go off the rails or whatever, or things go differently. Yeah, even. No, I was just uh, completely agreeing with uh, what Connor and I was say, were saying. Uh, I really think that this dance makes uh, everything much safer and natural 
uh, for the opportunity that you in and uh, provide us with to to run a, one of these liberating structures uh, practice meetup. Uh, I really enjoy it, and I think that it could have been possible to have such a great experience with other courts. <laughs> Shall we go on with the uh, uh, harvesting? Because uh, we, we had some more lenses we wanted to add. Yes. Um, so we are also really interested in your learnings. So if you could maybe share some of the learnings that you share with your group that you were just in. Are there any learnings that you were like, oh, yeah. I also learned this. That would be particularly in interesting. So you can either share out loud here, as we did just before, or in the chat. Yeah, or both. It would be nice to harvest uh, in the chat so we can share afterwards. I'm just noticing that it looks now that it's learning around blame game, but it just comes because Ina, there was no other chat between what Ina did <laughs> <laughs> before. So it's not <laughs> what can you learn about blaming others, but uh, just learning in general. Sorry, not about not keeping my mouth shut <laughs> with the blame. <laughs> Yeah, and considering time frame a little, it would be great if everyone could press enter now. So, and we'll have some more opportunity to, to discuss the learnings since we are later on focusing on that again. Yeah, anyone else wants to share by, by voice? Voice message. <laughs> I can share. It's appropriate. <laughs> Don't want to steal anyone else's uh, airtime. Uh, so I, um, I was speaking about my experience of co-hosting with Felix on a recent practice, and um, one of the things I'd noticed was just, just how much we got done in an hour, in in sixty minutes, even though um, we barely knew each other and uh, <laughs> we hadn't worked together before, but we spent a lot of time preparing and I think we both had a deep understanding of what we wanted to get from it and what experience we wanted people to have. And um, that helped um, sort of fail forward in a way. And um, you can, things will go wrong, but then you're able to get back on the happy path again, because you know, uh, well, we wanted this sort of experience. So we can, uh, we can, we can make it happen. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, jet storms were great. <laughs> Absolutely good opportunity. Sven, did you want to? Yeah, yeah I just finished writing. So um, we had this uh, Matt T experience um, and where we discovered, so at least I for myself and also in the group uh, earlier, that it's not always necessary to know who recognizes what in a certain situation so for example if you work with a group and they have some problems and they don't have the openness um, to talk about it but uh, using this kind of chat technique write uh, your answers uh, to to some questions and then see uh, what the others recognize and feel and see and this uh, helps to open up the whole group to create kind of uh, yeah, common sense or um, common common view or common feeling and and um, yeah, opens them up and um, makes the, the space to talk about it. Hmm. So leading need a breakout queen king magician <laughs> i made you want to expand on that briefly oh i learned that from connor i steal everything from connor today um <laughs> <laughs> so maybe he should elaborate on it but i can only 
uh, agree with it because hosting and meanwhile like you are now doing with the four of you creating breakout rooms and making sure that people end up in the right place if you have a certain structure or setup in mind um, that's a headache so i don't know uh, connor anything to add <laughs> I think that was great. It was just uh, th thinking through the tech part, because I think the tech is often so new to everyone, especially Zoom keeps changing so quickly, just to plan some of the tech issues. And then whoever is going to be responsible for that, giving them the safety uh, to fail forward, because something's going to go wrong. We just never know what it is until it happens. 